Hello, my name is Idan Cantor from Dell EMC, and in this demo, I'm going to show you how easy it is to protect VMs to AWS using Recover Point for VMs and to recover to EC2 and to VMC using CloudDR orchestration. So, with that, let's navigate to my Venice vCenter. This is the web client. I'm going to navigate to the VM I wish to protect. This is uh, Windows 2016. Configure Recover Point for VMs. This will launch the Protect VM wizard. It's a super simple seven step wizard. There are a lot of things here that are auto selected, auto populated, such as the VRPA cluster. I'm going to name the Cassisi group, name the production copy, production journals auto selected, as you can see. I'm going to name the AWS copy, I'm going to select that is AWS Cloud. And here you can see that the Snap Replication data stores are registered ahead of time, but you can register them here as well. I'm going to select 15 minutes of interval and 5 days of retention. And that's it, we're all set. You can also add copies here if you want to concurrently replicate to on-prem as well. In this case, I'm just going to replicate to AWS. So the initial synchronization just started. Once it's done, the first, the first point in time will be created. So once snap idle is there, it's in between snap replication cycles and we're all set. So with that, let's create a bookmark with just a manual point in time. Before an upgrade, let's say I'm going to upgrade one of my applications. So before I do that, I wish to create a bookmark and all set. The, but the bookmark uh, triggered a uh, snap replication uh, cycle. So all set with that. This is the Cloud DR server UI. This is my protected assets. This is the VM I just replicated. I'm going to go to recovery, select the VM I wish to replicate, and see how, how easy it is to recover to EC2. I'm going to do a test, select the point in time, this is the bookmark that we created before. I'm going to select the subnet associated with, the security group to associate it with. I'm going to check out some of the advanced settings. We will try to match the, the, the closest um, EC2 spec out there, but uh, that can be overwritten as well. Uh, tags for Cloud Snapshot Manager, private IP if applicable and start test. I'm going to fast forward through this obviously, but once this is done, you can click the info or navigate directly to AWS Management Console to see that the, the instance was indeed powered on. Awesome. So as you can see, Instance is up and running. Now let's let's switch gears to my VMC SDDC. This is my vCenter on my um, SDDC. As you can see, it has a Cloud DR add-on on it. I'm going to go back to the CDRS UI and issue recovery back to the, that CDRA, back to vCenter. Now, one of, the, one of our biggest advantages is that we do not need VMC up at all times. Um, I can keep the original VM Mac and, and UID if there is a need to. That will be our default. Once we do that, once we um, start the DR activity, we'll actually start the recovery to the VMC SCDC vCenter. I'm going to fast forward to this, although the, this is rather quick. Test completed. And you can see out of the info the name of the VM that we just recovered. Let's go back to the uh, VMC SDC vCenter. We'll scroll all the way down. We'll be able to see that the VM that was just recovered. You can see here 
I'm going to open console so that you'll see that it's actually being powered on right now. And all set. Now the last thing we need to do is to go back and end the DR test. So afterwards, the VMC SDDC can be powered off as needed. Again, we only need VMC to be up during the actual recovery. That's it. Now that we're done, I want to thank you all for watching and see you in the next demos.